Yeah! We finally did it. We beat the best bloody team in European football. We absolutely smashed them and it was easy. Also, we won the uh, under 20 World Cup. I mean, Denmark did. It's not so much me, but uh, yeah, roll the intro because it's a good idea. back friends and foes i don't know if there's any of those out there i mean uh, who knows uh, are you crazy here with a uh, more danish dynamite and as you can see we did indeed beat the best team in european football watford mm -hmm. you thought it was going to be someone else no as you know watford are the best in the world and um yeah we beat them four <laughs> we beat them four three in the Car carabao cup fourth round a uh, bit of a nail biter, and uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't show you that one either. It would have taken a bloody half an hour, but um, yeah, I can't believe we did it. And of course, it's in the Carabao Cup, which I absolutely do not care about. Uh, Premier Division? No, 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 no. Of course, we get smashed in the Premier League by them, but yeah. You win some, you lose some, I guess. But uh, yeah, I guess we also did beat Liverpool, which was good. 1-0, which was pretty surprising, but we played really well, so I can't complain. 1-0 uh, to FC Copenhagen. I mean, a win is a win, right? But uh, yeah. Of course, we followed up our Chelsea loss with another loss to another uh, 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 London club, and the name is uh, Arsenal. So, yay, that was fun. But uh, I guess we're a bit back and forth, uh, back in form now, as we now play the might of Manchester United and Copenhagen as well. But um, yeah, so far so good, I guess. Uh, we are second now in the league. Manchester United have turned on the afterburners or middle burners or whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah. It's going to be interesting today, so uh, yeah, fast forward to United game. And here is the team that's going to smash United. Absolutely smash them. I know it. I can feel it because, well, why not? I mean, they're not as good as Watford. Who can be? Um, yeah. Familiar back line. Stand up. Jaroslav Kostasin, Hansen, Paulson, Nati, and Julesko, our amazing youngster uh, in there in the middle. Because, well, Hoivia is still injured. He's injured for 10 days to 3 weeks, so not good. But I guess we want to play Julesko anyway, so eh, I'm not too surprised. Uh, not too disappointed. Uh, Chris Jensen, our really our surprise package this year, is going to start out on the right. I'm going to have Benjamin Jensen in the middle, and Boon Larsen is finally back. I mean, it says he maximum 75 minutes, but that's perfect. That's perfect. So he's going to start on the left, and then Fagir up front. Uh, Miguel Damsko is also pretty knackered, so he's just going to sit out for this one because, well, I mean, we're not going to play him anyway. So let's just get into the game, as I have to do this apparently twice. Yeah, sure. Right, and I told the lads, expect a win today, which was random, and uh, they seem to like it, so, I mean, we, we do have the better hand, I guess, versus United, randomly, but, uh, yeah, they have a pretty strong team, Greenwood up front, but they, I also noticed they have a quite a few Vikings of their own, Isaac Hansen, or, or, or whatever, the wonder kid, I guess, uh, who else, Martin Ulrich, of course, and they have Lindelof as, Lindelof at, as right wing, uh, right back, which is a bit strange, but I guess he can do it, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking at this again. Pogba and Ulrigo in the bloody center. That midfield can definitely get overrun if we play correctly. But um, that does require us to do it correctly, right? They kind of need... I mean, this is a great start to the game. Arguably our best player so far this season has now gone up injured. So what do we do here? I guess we put Christian Rasmussen out there. Uh, yeah, our actual wonder kid. It actually says wonder kid. So uh, I'm not lying this time. Don't worry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But... Not the greatest start. But this is a fun game. Literally nothing is happening. I'm just going to keep encouraging until something happens. And as you can see, Watford are actually third in the league. And they, I mean, they can overtake us. Oh, wait, oh, and the first highlight possibly, of course, it starts with a throw-in. It always seems to start with a throw-in nowadays. I'm not quite sure why, but... Oh, well, oh, you got picked up a bit of a knock. Not good from Narty. And Pogba does what we were supposed to do to them. <laughs> Pretty little chip there from Greenwood, but... Luckily, it goes over. How is Pogba just randomly winning the ball in the middle there? Uh, un, uh, a bit surprisingly. I'm, I'm going to say I'm not happy, lads. And I think I just had a bit of a glance there at uh, our ratings. Like we are, we are playing absolutely crap. I mean, why do we have so many injuries? What the? So, Yule's goal is proper knackered. I'm going to do something a bit strange here. I'm going to put this guy in our... Right back, right back that can actually play in there. I'm going to put him as a ball winner on uh, defend. Uh, yeah, let's put him on defend. Why not? Fakir is struggling as well. 
hampered by injury. That is not good. Not good at all. Okay. <sighs> now I'm going to leave him out there for a little bit. I'm going to have to. I mean, holy moly, what a match. Not a single hat. Well, one highlight from Greenwood and then just loads of injuries everywhere. What the heck's going on? And now United or possibly uh, Greenwood kind of gathers the ball there, Bailey. Oh, not like that. Are you... <sighs> I've been fortunate recently and not so many silly penalties and all sorts, but that was, I mean, that was ridiculous. Yeah, of course it's a penalty. He literally tried to saw him in half. Uh, who takes it? Pogba, of course. The amazing Kante, like, in there, winning the ball from us. And uh, now he scores on a bloody penalty. Uh, that is frustrating. That is very frustrating. I don't need to see it again. And yeah, as you can see, like, we are playing absolute dog poo-poo. But we already made two subs because of injuries. We're going to have to... Um, what are we going to have to... Encourage the lads. Why are we playing this crap? I could understand if we're losing. There's no, no shame in losing to United, right? But everyone, the entire team, just playing so badly. Greenwood is in. I mean, and he scores from there. That is depressing. And the problem is, I can't really make. We need to get this guy off. So Asmussen up front, and then let's go out on the right. We need to. That's three changes already, just from injuries. I mean, what can you even do? Yeah, I don't need to see it again. Yes, confirm. I mean, Paul Larson <coughs> is having a shocker as well. And he just came back from injury. Oh, no, I just realized he could only play 75 and I've already made all three subs. What a bloody shambles. This, are we actually going to have a highlight at least? I mean, that would be fun, right? <coughs> Jakobsen, are you going to redeem yourself? Okay, we we do collect it. Let's go. Is it? I mean, that was a sick goal. Oh, like with the outside of the foot in the far corner. That was sick. Jakobsen is... Uh, we'll say he's involved, give him, a, give him a bit of credit. It's our ball winner, actually, with the assist to score. So first time, well, he, he gets down with his left as well, which is a bit strange. It bounces once, and then with the outside of the foot. Wow, that was a great goal. Okay, lads, we can do this, we can do this. I mean, 6.1 from Paul Larsen, 6.2 from Benjamin Jensen, 6.1. I just put this guy on, Christian Rasmussen. Well, I say that. I think he was the first sub I made so he technically he has played since minute three but um yeah now united are just <sighs> this is just one of those games isn't it and that was our ball winner who came on to win the ball created an assist remember and then did that that's not winning the ball that's killing the opposition meanwhile pogba is winning the ball left right and center i mean don't rub it in our faces, please. Oh! Okay. It was, wasn't a great touch there from Skull, but we do keep it. Come on, lads! Please! Lindelof just runs back without any effort and takes the ball. And great ball to Greenwood. That's going to be a goal. Oh, great defending, actually. Andres Christensen. Just end the game, then. Or is it... Oh, he just got hacked down. What a... Well, the highlight continues, perhaps, so who knows, a last-ditch effort. I mean, what do you do in a... I mean, what a... This is really starting to test me now, SI. I think SI are angry because I managed to beat Watford, and now they're just doing oh, SI things. Woosa, 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 woosa. Thir three minutes in of injury. Two more injuries at half time. Red card. <coughs> Penalty. Let's just. I'm far from pleased. Let's just forget this ever happened and let's go kill FC Copenhagen. Of course, before that, let's just check out these injuries because Yule score is out for four to five weeks. Let's talk about that. Ah, don't get worried about that. Because Jansen, our. Uh, surprise package, three to four. Fagia, three to four days at least. So, and then banned, of course. Um, well, don't appeal. There's no point. And of course, fine him. Um, and everyone is knackered now. So, um, yeah, that is just wonderful. But uh, four days till FC Copenhagen. See you there. Right, and we are back. And uh, it is not looking that easy. But uh, we have, well, three big in, well, two injuries, and Fagia is pretty darn knackered. So.
luckily let's start with the first one because Jensen is luckily straight swap for damp score and then we're gonna do we're gonna swap these two around Von Lassen and damp score so that's good damp score is like one of our best players so it's good to have him back at least um Fakir is definitely a bit of a problem hmm I want to try I'm gonna try and put Bunga up there he has developed quite nicely. I mean, look how many 15s he actually has. He doesn't look super in, uh, like exciting, right? But when you sit like 16 dribbling, you're like, oh, yeah, but the rest are yellow. There's so many 15s in there. Agility, but he's very slow, which is kind of what I'm pro my problem is. But I think that's going to be fine with someone like FC Copenhagen. They're not the best, with all respect. Um, uh, problem here, I guess, is Yulko is injured. Do we have any midfielders? I guess Chukwane can go in there. I, I, I'm not sure I trust the red card man. I mean, I trust him to get a red card. That's pretty much it. Mm, so we need to put some more people on the bench. Who can we put on? Let's put Eskildel on there, because why not? Oh, Fagir should probably be changed as well. Let's put Kaufman on there as a striking option. And yeah, I think that is pretty much going to be that. So um, yeah, it's pretty, the same team, but with the exception of those changes, because yeah. FC Kuppenhaun, some like you would actually say it in Danish, but um, yeah, it looks very a little bit interesting. They ha randomly have Shogdan Mustaf Mustafi in the back, which is, he's actually still pretty darn decent in FM at least, let's be real, in FM. Uh, they also have Rasmus Feld, our old player, which you never saw because I never played him, I just loaned him out, he wasn't really up to standard, but yeah, and uh, that's pretty much it. And I will just, um, I will just show you, okay, let's just see all this. One sec. Like, just to clarify, we are actually based in Copenhagen. Like, the stadium is in Copenhagen. We are a Copenhagen club. So this is a bit of a local rivalry, I suppose, in a way. And, uh, yeah, of course, our stadium is named after, well, FC Copenhagen Stadium, which is called Parken, or Itratsparken, which kind of means, I don't know, Ford Park or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, a little back history, as literally nothing is happening, so why not, um, as we... Uh, may have our first highlight here, which hopefully goes our way. Is this going to be a penalty? I mean, that was... I mean, I'm glad I don't have to say that name. Mudrashia. I mean, I still just said it, but... um, Yeah, that seems right to me, by the way. If anyone thinks that's wrong, they are definitely wrong. So, uh, yeah. Are we going to see the... Okay, finally, dump score. So he takes it himself, and he, and he scores it. So, yeah, good job. I mean, couldn't we have gotten one of these versus... Manchester United, maybe. I mean, let's just by all means see it again. Good goal, I suppose. But um, that was literally the first time. Right, right will throw in to us very deep in their half. So, and we do manage to recycle the ball. Chukwani on ball. Come on, yeah. With this left. Paulsen. Paulsen to Larsen. That is Danish enough. Paulsen to Brun Larsen. That was a great goal. Of course, we can't do the patented Paulsen to Paulsen any longer, but... Maybe we'll find a regen striker one day that's called Paulson as well. So that would be lovely. Um, but yeah, what a great cost from Paulson. To Poon Larsen, who heads highest, and then the goalkeeping is uh, a little bit suspect, maybe. And uh, yeah, just by all means, just continue the highlight. Are we going to get another penalty? Oh, it definitely looked like it, right? Okay, Chukwani, who's been all over the ball, it seems, right? Jacobson, is he going to make a penalty from there? So, oh, we would hope not. Chukwani again, he's just been really, really on fire so far, Paulson. Another one to Boon Larsen? I mean, this is going to be the longest highlight in the world. I mean, someone just shoot, please. Okay, Chukwani, but Schlager saves it. I mean, Schlager just hoofed it forward, and this highlight barely continues. Are you joking? Boon Larsen now. Okay, cross it in. Chukwani, of course. I mean, that was very fortunate. It's, so it's Mutrasia who's having a bit of a nightmare. He made the penalty, remember, and now he's credited with an own goal. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily his fault. He was just kind of in the way. But that's what we do. We are trained to just, we shoot wide on, like, intentionally, and then it hits it back. That was some good, good technique there. Oh, Mudrashi has the ball. Anything can happen now. But uh, he actually doesn't manage to find one of his own players. I feel like he's going to look at Jensen. That was a great save, by the way, by Stenholz. I'm just wondering who that guy was, because Jensen, no. Of course, this is also a bit of a scouting mission. I'm trying to scout Danish players. But, um, yeah, that's, thankfully, that's very easy. But, uh, yeah, let's check a look. Oh, I mean, it literally says he's joining Danes, so he's probably trying to impress me. I guess that shot was actually not very impressive then. Hmm, should I cancel the deal, maybe? All right, well, half time. Uh, 
I'm just going to say don't get complacent. And I'm going to say there's a lot more to come from you. And uh, yeah, let's let's just keep smashing these. Why not? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I mean, he's in. I mean, and that is why we signed him. Or is going to sign him. And I noticed, by the way, it says joining in so the, you know, the 2nd of January 2024. That is definitely going to get cancelled because now, of course, the new rule has been in place that you can only size six players from abroad every season, which is pretty daft. But uh, yeah, I've already had a few of those this season that um, they've just been there for like two years, and it's just a matter of which six comes first, I guess. And now all the other ones are just getting cancelled automatically, which is very much a shame. And that, I guess, is going to include this Christiansen guy. But um, I guess we'll have to try again next season then. But we actually have to be a bit more selective. I can't just go out and buy. 20 Danish youngsters, that would, um, that is just not going to work. I mean, what is that? Of course, I'm just waffling on. That there's actually football happening. And for some reason, FC Copenhagen are starting to try. And I'm not sure I enjoy it. Okay, Paulson, we actually do win the ball at Damsko now. That is a very dangerous ball, but it sometimes, somehow worked out. And now Paulson is basically the left wing up to Bungo into... I mean, that was a sick shot from Damsko, but whew, it just goes wide. And he's FC Coven again, again, Felk now. Are you, what the, what the fudge? Can we just focus now? And of course, it is our former player, so that's always going to happen. And who's that on the line there? Jakobsen. Uh, not good defending there, but, All right, but this is getting, Bit tense, I guess. Bungo is having a shocker. Who should we put? Let's put Kaufman on, who randomly plays well. I don't know why, because he's actually crap, I believe. Or I think. And let's put Christian Rasmussen in there as a shadow striker. I, I love that role, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. And uh, yeah, let's just save the last one for, I guess, wasting time, because what an exciting match this is. And tense, and also, I mean, what kind of cross is that? If they just run down and score now, that would be... Very typical, and they're not called Watford, so I don't know what the, the game is playing at. I wish they are just. I mean, like maybe, uh, maybe the engine is confused again because we're both located in Copenhagen. I don't know what is going on. This is just one big ping pong. Like, usually you can tell what what side is gonna get the uh, like highlight right, but this is just all over the place. Boom, last now, and ah. Uh, Scoring those, I feel. Right, well, let's make the last change. Who's playing badly? It, well, pretty much everyone. Let's just get... Who is this guy? Let me just... Oh, okay, it is our ball winner. Well, let's put him on so he can get a red card, right? Let's do that, because we all love a good red card. And no, I was I was joking, lads. I was, I was joking. Chupuani. We've seen a lot from him today. Kaufman is in. Go on, lad. Go on. Go on, then. I mean, I'm still in disbelief as now FC Copenhagen are coming forward. What the heck is going on? We've been in such good form, right? We, 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 I don't know. We get wrecked by United, by SI, and now this is just being, okay. What? Huh? What the? No. No. What happened there? Okay, I was trying to fanny around looking for that highlight and it just finished the game. I mean, that was silly, but that chance was ridiculous. I was sure it went in. It said he somehow caught it. What the? I mean, I have no idea. I mean, somehow we won that match. We were absolutely dominated. Why did they make, why did they make it so tense? I don't like it. Um, yeah, I'm going to say I don't know what happened in the second half, but it was totally unacceptable. And they seemed demotivated. Why? Were you even in the same game? Why would that demotivate you? You clearly saw what happened in the game. 3 0 up. Holy moly. If it wasn't for that Mutrasia guy, we would have lost. But uh, yeah, top of the day, Champions League group so far. But uh, yeah, Dortmund still have a match, so it's going to go even. But um, that pretty much means that it's going to be between us and Dortmund. So that is definitely going to be our next match, right? Um, we do some, I'm not really sure, but I'm definitely going to do Borussia Dortmund and maybe Wolves or Leeds, depending on how, how we are for time and all sorts. But uh, yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, then press like and subscribe and all that. And uh, I mean, do it anyways, if you, even if you hated it. And uh, yeah, there's also going to be some big news soon. Um, actually, I've just done my database for my next series that I'm going to start relatively soon. That's just going to run simultaneously in parallel or whatever with this one. And uh, yeah, some big, big news. It's the Turkish lower leagues. It's going to be fun. So uh, yeah, till next time.